Hi Aries, this is Charlotte speaking and from Charlie's Angel Terror and welcome back if you are a, a, a regular uh, viewer, a cyber angel and this is your romance reading for the month of March 2020 and I'm sorry I'm a little bit late but there's new things happening and if you are a faithful follower you might already know that as there is a video out with news and updates. So if you don't know about that, then have a look in the playlists under announcements. Um, uh, through, uh, I'm not going live anymore every single day. The English speaking nights live is Monday and Friday. And so uh, please subscribe and hit the bell. Then you'll be warned and notified when I go live. There's also the possibility of uh, super chats and super stickers. That means give a donations and you can choose any price. Just click on the dollar sign below the chat and follow the instructions. I will answer your question with three cards and an oracle card. Uh, in the live session itself and if you would like an extensive reading then uh, please look below this video in the description box and please subscribe and hit the bell just down there and here you will find a circle with an eye in it and if you click on that it will take you straight away to charlisangeltarot.com my website and there you can also find updates and reviews and um, there is an extensive reading for romance or general that if you take a full reading now, then you can have um, a, a, a follow up within the next six months. But it must be within the next six months. So you might be left with questions or after uh, an extensive reading, you will start thinking and reacting and doing things. And in a month's time, two months time, you might actually uh, need another reading and that's why I've made this option. There are also other readings so go and have a look and please leave a, re a reaction behind. You can find the contact, uh, uh, you can leave the reaction under contacts right at the bottom of the page. Now I'll just take this new information and translate it in Dutch because the Dutch evening night is on Wednesday. So if you can speak Dutch, then you're more than welcome on Wednesday night as well. Hallo iedereen en welkom op het kanaal Charlie's Angel Tarot. Ik ben Char en de nieuwe informatie is dat woensdagavond is de Nederlandse avond om live te gaan. Ik hoop dat als je een, een cyber engel bent, welkom en dank je wel voor je trouwe volging en leuk dat je er weer bent. En alsjeblieft deel deze video met familie en vrienden en geef even de duimpjes op. Uh, dat houdt ook uh, de, de, uh, de alfa richtme, de uh, zoekerrobot op de hoogte dat wij bestaan. De familie groeit wel heel erg snel, zo so daarom heb ik ook besloten om één Nederlandse avond te doen en twee Engelse avonden als je Engels kan. Dan heb je ook de optie op maandag en vrijdagavond om mee te doen in de live sessie. Uh, neem je een, geef je een donatie en heb je een vraag, dan kan je een donatie geven, een superchat of een super sticker. Klik op de dollar teken en volg de instructies. Hier onder deze video heb je nog meer informatie um, uh, hoe je in contact kan komen en als je op de i klikt dan heb je ook uh, de mogelijkheid om naar de website te gaan charliesangeltarot.com en daar kan je ook even neuzen en daar zijn verschillende mogelijkheden voor lezingen. Neem je een romantische of een algemene uh, gewone lengte uh, Lezing, dan heb je ook nog een optie erbij om binnen zes maanden nog een korte lezing daarnaast te krijgen. Een soort update um, hoe de situatie is ontwikkeld en wat de uh, energie is op na twee maanden, maar of vier maanden of net voor de einde van zes maanden. Nu ga ik aan de lezing beginnen en deze is jullie romanslezing voor maart. 
En dit wordt in Engels gedaan, want jullie kunnen de ondertiteling in, uh, inzetten. Oké, okay. ik hoop dat jullie uh, genieten. Oké, okay. this, um, this is for Aries. And Aries, your first card is, it's for the rang, uh, your first card is free yourself. It is time to take back control of your life. And this card really means, or reminds me of a merry-go-round horse. And the gate is the merry-go-round. So take back control. Don't keep going round and around, either in your head or in the same tread. It gets boring. So take back control in your life. And this was basically also for Aquarius and Pisces the message. And you've got the star, so there is a wish or a goal coming true. So you are taking back control of your life. But be careful what you wish for. There is chemistry with, between you two. If you are not hooked up, then you might be meeting a new person. And it will be in the first instance chemistry that is firing off this spark. There's a strong magnetic con uh, attraction here. So, some you might be meeting somebody. Perhaps that is your wish, because you've taken back control. And you might not be hooked up, but you might be a young person. And you were hooked up, and something might have happened, or they might have gone off to a business trip, or gone to study somewhere else, and you feel left alone. So you're taking back control. You've met somebody and chemistry, boom, boom. And you've got the mice here and 23 is five. So you are out of whack, but you will be back in whack. The mice means that um, somebody might have uh, taken something away from you that doesn't belong to them. You might have lost something. So you might have lost your heart to somebody else. Somebody else might have, have stolen your heart. That's how you can see it. That's the positive side. If somebody steals your heart. Wow. But this is a romance reading. So I think somebody will steal your heart. Or you might be very busy. And you need a helping hand. To meet somebody. A blind date. And boom. It is chemistry. First off. So. Wow. This is in the second week. I know I'm a little bit late with the readings, I'm sorry, but uh, like I said, there's new things happening, interviews, reviews, so go and have a look. Coming back to the reading, my darling, um, here you've got past life relationship. So, this chemistry, <laughs> that might be somebody coming back from the past. You have known each other before, could be from the kindergarten, this is what I'm hearing. You are getting news. It could be official news um, because you've got the letter here. And this could be news from your previous lover. Okay. And you've taken back control. And there's still chemistry. So he's stolen your heart. And so somebody from the past might be coming back and you're getting news. Yes, I'm coming back. I want to talk to you. Is it possible? Well, number 27 is a 9, so there is an ending. So whether you want to take them back, that is up to you. Because there was an ending, okay? Because you've taken back control. Somebody's stolen your heart. There's chemistry. So that, to me, speaks more as a new love. Perhaps they've left you hanging in the lurch too long and you got bored. But there is chemistry also with the old person, and they're coming back. So, be careful. That's why I said be careful what you wish of, because the mice do mean something. Somebody has pinched something, and usually that means a bit sly, uh, not honest, and they have left. And they run, because a thief always runs away. And that's how I see it. So I think somebody left you, but they want to come back. So make sure, and they're sending you news. This could also be official news, like I said. So make sure that you think about it before you say yes. Calling in your soulmate, your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together.
So, perhaps you've been visualizing and affirming. Perhaps you've done incantations and you want them back. Okay, but remember, a, um, a fox sheds his hair but doesn't change his streaks. What has happened before can happen again. And again, you've got uh, the rider. The rider means that you are getting news. So definitely, you have two cards news. And you might be getting a visitor. Uh, or you might be visiting somebody. Perhaps you might be visiting or uh, this old ex-friend of yours or lover, partner. There will be news. Now, this deck is by Monica Borinsky and it is a lovely deck and usually there are only 36 um, cards but in this deck we have um, 42 cards. And I was just thinking, no, this is the letter. But the bat, yeah, this the, uh, this deck is dedicated to the bats. Uh, there will be a dollar uh, donated to the Bat Federation in Canada. Um, and that's what I think is also beautiful from this author that she does uh, something charitable. Now you've got the book underneath the deck. And the book means secrets. Okay, and secrets don't do come out. Secrets do come out. Like I said, somebody might have stolen your heart and left you for a study. And boom, here we've got the book. I hadn't even noticed that. So somebody might be coming back from university or college and they want to come and see you. See how you feel, whether there's still this click. So... Take your time, don't rush anything, because the book also means a study. Perhaps you might start a study now, or there are secrets, but the truth will come out. Then at the bottom of the Romance um, Oracle deck, you've got Let Your Friends Help You Ask For and Accept Support From Others. Don't listen to gossip, don't listen to gossip. But if you have a, a, um, a best friend for life, then do talk to her uh, about the situation before you make your final decision. Now, your angel feather card is um, a red angel feather card. Take action now. The angels advise you that a project or an idea that you have been working on is finally nearing the point of affirmation uh, sorry in transformation and that means that you might be you might have uh, taken back control there was still um, chemistry and there was a, a love of the past and you are calling your in your um, your you're calling in your soulmate, uh, prayers, affirmations, visualizations. Boom, you've taken the action. So the angels have heard you. You can meditate on red. You can wear red. You are grounded. You can also wear red fruit. That will help you detox and keep you in balance and grounded. As red is the grounding chakra, the angel Uriel, you can ask him for help as well. Now you've got a green Archangel Michael card and it is self energy, sever energetic cords. Anybody that is an energy vampire, sever the cords. You don't want anybody back like that. They don't want you, you don't want them to take or break your heart again. Archangel Michael delivers powerful healing to sever energetic cords of attachment and rebalance your energy fields. Now, I think your best friend for life would advise you on that as well. Don't let history repeat itself. If it 
causes you heartache and pain and sadness. Well, that is your romance reading Aries for March, and I hope you have enjoyed that. So, make the wise decision. Don't uh, let anybody control you. Keep that power that you are in now. Okay? You've got number 26, so that means an 8. You, that's your house money and your power. You are in your power, so maintain the power. You deserve to be loved and you're worth loving. So, remember, stand in your power, make your own decisions and keep it. So please share this video with family and friends and give us the thumbs up. It's awesome. Good luck. Stay in your power.